Hey everybody, it's uh, Batjack JW, and here we brought out some grips, and uh, mostly we're talking about the aged yellow ivory looking grips, uh, similar to what the Duke would have had on his six gun there, Pilgrim. <laughs> well, um, those of you that have been hanging around with my channel for a long time, you know that uh, there's a huge story behind this gun right here. That's the Cimarron rooster shooter that may not look quite like your rooster shooter or the one that you see in the store that's because it's got a lot of modifications to it and that story's done over and over and over in many many videos so check out the library here on the channel but um anyhow uh that is responsible for me turning into making some grips for myself and here they are i went into my own personal collection of my grips here and dug out a few now, the interesting thing about this is we're, we're mainly talking about the Duke and his. Uh, there's so many stories on what his were and what they are and when they came about and you know if it was the war wagon when they first showed up with them and or was it the sons of Katie Elder and you know, I'm not a virtuoso in all of it. I just kind of read bits and pieces here and there. Uh, so... Um, what I've been reading and heard uh, over the years is uh, that they were actually uh, Catalan, made of Catalan, uh, a form of uh, plastic uh, back in the day. So he actually would take them and tea stain them and make them look yellow. Uh, that's the story. And these here that you see are actually not really uh, styled too much after his, his grips uh, because his, if you look at throughout the 60s and stuff, they were really just plain looking grips. Um, I'll move some of these out of the way here because I got an example of more or less what his did look like or something like this. Very uh, plain and simple. Just a yellow styled grip. And I kind of wanted to start uh, what I got fascinated with was uh, when you ordered, let me see here, I got uh, sitting on a stool here, swivel around here. <laughs> Um, you can buy some stuff from companies. Uh, there's many companies out there, and you can buy things from them that uh, will look kind of like, you know, the John Wayne grip. Uh, here's a, here's one that I purchased. Uh, these are these would cost you about a hundred bucks, and uh, I put them together as a as a one piece eventually because I did have them set up as a two piece. As you can see, I had the uh, the drill them out and everything, but you know. When these cost you a hundred dollars, and you know, with the finger grooves in there, like the Duke had, and all that, I think he actually drilled this right there, maybe. But I was a little concerned about doing that. Um, didn't want to ruin them a hundred dollars right there. Uh, you can also get the this kind of style, same company, with a little bit of the aging and everything going on. So yeah, again. A uh, hundred bucks, but I'm not knocking the company at all. You know, they they do good do good stuff, and you can purchase things like that. Um, so, but you know, price range and everything, it that kind of starts to come into a factor. Uh, well, what I wanted to do was create different kind of characters throughout the you know character uh, aging and stuff through the grips. Uh, mainly because, like I said, the movie Shootist uh, really captivated me. Like, his grips in that were amazing. They were like, whoa, look at those. They're really cool. So I started to play around with the, the idea of how to do those. Now, I'll leave these up at the top for kind of an example because that's going to be the what he really, uh, what it looked like, what his grips mostly look like. Now, I did start making, doing some other ones and trying to see, well, how, how much, how aged can you get? Let's see. These here have a, these are the most aged looking pair that I've done. You can see throughout them, there are a lot of different uh, character in them. Uh, I left, I wanted to really leave and put, uh, some of them are induced and some I just, uh, did, just left it, the imperfections and things that, you know, uh, on here I added uh, their hairline cracking throughout the grips. And you can see it up here. I don't know how well the, uh, it'll catch it, but they're there. And I really wanted to kind of create that, that feel. Rather than if you bought, uh, 
you know, you're buying some grips by, you know, some of these other really big name companies and you're paying, you know, 80 bucks or $100 or something like that for grips. They're really symmetrical, perfect, everything, you know, just cookie cutter plastic looking grips. And I wanted something that was more unique. I wanted something that was like, you know, hey, this was not going to be like your everyday ones, like uh, especially the ones that are on this right now. You can see all the imperfections. I took a file and broke the corners down just because I wanted them to look offset. There's actually, this happened during um, something that ha had happened there where it cracked along the, the back here, which I didn't repair. I should because it might fall out, but I, I left it. In fact, I, um, I threw a little bit of stain in there to really bring it out, bring attention to it. Now, this one here... This was actually used, I, I lent this to an independent film that was done out here called the John Doe Western. So this was actually used in that movie, which is really cool. And that those are the grips that were on it that was uh, in, that, in that short film. So that's kind of neat. But I left a lot of, you know, just made it crude uh, as trying to you were kind of think in my mind you know this is bone it's a natural substance this is what's going to happen it's yeah it, all that kind of jazz so now here's some that you can buy these are like 30 bucks i think you can get these on brownells i've already stained them a little bit as you can see they they actually when they arrive they're going to be um they're going to be white uh, so if you want to stain them and do a little aging to them and uh, create them a little bit like similar to like that and here's another set I did with uh, different types of character going through them and everything but yeah this is stuff that you can do on the cheap too by getting something like this let's take a look here I'll bring out this uh, now now you can see a little bit on the color on them and you can achieve this really simple. You go on to uh, you can get this on Amazon too. I got this at the feed store, uh, leather dye. And the color that I have here is a light brown. You want to be careful when you're messing with this stuff because it can be a, a, quite a mess. So I'll actually go ahead and um, we'll just brush some of this on here because actually I, I did. I was actually uh, soaking these in tea to see if it actually would do anything to them like the duke supposedly did you know of course there's no real truth uh, we don't know for sure 100 percent what he did or if he did because he's not here to tell us unfortunately all right so just kind of doing a a quick and easy dirty job here and i just coat coat it all with this and then we'll take a take some paper towel And there you can see how it uh, darkened it up a bit. And now you can just keep going and, and use more applications of it. And you know, again, the key is when you're doing stuff like this, uh, use the light color. Uh, if you can't find the light color, you can always cut this stuff back with uh, some alcohol, like rubbing alcohol that you find in a store, like a Walmart or something, and cut it back. Because you can... it's you can always stain it darker uh, it's harder once it's already stained to bleach that out than it is to just reapply uh, a heavier coat or a darker coat or, or let it sit longer um, so I found that with the lighter stuff I can easily apply it just like you saw wipe it clean really fast and you can see already the shade has changed right there so and again these you can purchase on Am, or uh, Brownells, and they're by I want to say like NC Ordnance or something. And they're here, believe it or not, the cheaper the the grips, uh, the better <laughs> because they'll take to the staining better. Uh, it's been my experience the ones by Hogue 
uh, have been really resilient to staining, uh, extremely resilient to it. Uh, that's just been my experience. It, for somebody else, it may be totally different. Um, but I was reading on a form, and somebody had mentioned leather dye. And I thought, because I was going through a bunch of different uh, techniques. I, I was trying everything from food coloring, uh, uh, fabric dye, coffee grounds, everything. You name it, I was attempting to do it, and it was not working out for me. So anyway, but there you can see... Uh, you know what they just did right there and these are you know again like 30 bucks off of brownells and you know a thing of leather dye is like a dollar a couple bucks or something like that so you know, it's a way that you can do it now this honestly is really what he had uh something just as plain as this is what he had uh, of course he had finger grooves on him and me being left-handed, and that's for some reason people make videos on this stuff, and they go, oh, "Duke wasn't left-handed," blah, blah blah blah, like that. And it's like I've never claimed that I had his grips or his gun or something like that. I don't know; people are crazy, but I'm left-handed, so the finger grooves on that side is what is for me. So I make all mine with that, the finger grooves. If I do finger grooves on that side, that's why I do it. Not because I have the Duke's gun. <laughs> Here's another uh, um, set that I've done. And uh, actually here, since I have them here, this is the original set that came on my Rooster Shooter. This is the original set that came off of mine. That broke, by the way. And you can see the finger grooves on the other side. And they're different finger grooves. Now you got the one, two, three, four, which is kind of weird. Because, I mean, you'd have one, you know, like that. I, even my small hand, I couldn't get all four around the, so I, I don't know. But these were made by a company called Bar S, which is no longer around. And you can see where mine actually broke. That's what started it all, and I repaired it. But they're really nice. The color is really nice. Um, as you can see, I've replicated it. But, uh, you know, I keep these on the side. They're, they're really uh, nicely made grips. They really are. I mean, everything on them is is really perfect so but you know here's another ways you can do it and stuff I've done you can see let's see compare uh, to something like that to you know ones like this that I've done but anyhow but yeah you know, just kind of messing around with it and showing you I wanted to show you uh, staining those and you know kind of take this moment here and talk about the Duke and all that so I appreciate it you guys I'm Batjack JW like share and subscribe as always and we'll see you on down the trail. Yeah, I'm going to take that line right there from Santee. And uh, before the video ends, I'd like to actually give a channel shout out because I really find his channel unique, cool, different. And uh, he's always commenting on people's stuff, especially mine always. But uh, his channel is just full of unique and really cool things. And that's Lead8541. Go check him out. He's a really cool guy, and uh, he actually just recently did a video of a pit boss. Uh, he's always doing these barbecue videos. It makes me so hungry. But anyway, thanks, Led. Appreciate it for all you do, and you make some really cool videos, man.